When you think of endangered animals, the first that come to mind are probably pandas, elephants, or tigers. These are some of the most popular animals that generate much needed attention towards the world of conservation, but there are many others that are closer to the edge of extinction. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at five extraordinary animals that have a total population of under 50 individuals and we'll determine which will go extinct next. Kicking off our list at number five is the goby bear. There are a subspecies of brown bear which are commonly referred to as grizzly bears. Native to the Gobi Desert in Mongolia where they are regarded as a national treasure. They are the only bear in the world that has adapted to live in an extreme desert climate, ranging from negative 40 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit to 46 degrees Celsius or 115 degrees Fahrenheit. The Himalayan mountains to the south of the desert create a rain shadow as they prevent clouds from passing over and reaching the desert. The result is annual rainfall of 40 to 100 millimeters or about 2 to 4 inches. Their habitat range has decreased by an estimated 60% since 1970 due to scarcity of food and water. The expansion of human settlements meant greater competition for food and water resources for the Gobi Bear. Extensive regions of grasslands have also been degraded by overgrazing of livestock and the bear's shy nature causes them to avoid human activity. A 14-year drought between the years of 1993 and 2007 put further pressure on their population. During these years, their population struggled as not enough resources made it difficult to sustain successful reproduction. More than 90% of their diet comes from vegetation that depends heavily on the already small amounts of rainfall that they get. Scarcity of food and water means they travel long distances, and a small population means traveling even further to find multiple mates. Population estimates currently vary between 40 and 50 individuals, and none are known to exist in captivity. Their home ranges are very large, spanning up to 2,400 square kilometers. In 1976, an area of about 46,000 square kilometers was designated for the protection of the bear and other wildlife. This is one of the biggest protected sites in the world. Known as the Great Gobi Strictly Protected Area, this habitat consists of three different oasis complexes separated by 70 to 100 kilometers of flat gravel. They each contain seven or more springs that vary from the size of a garden pond to a dry ravine that contains water once or twice a year. Current threats to the survival of the species are large mining corporations, illegal hunters, and illegal miners. In addition, they suffer from lack of genetic diversity. Theirs is among the worst of any brown bear subspecies because there are more than two males for every female and they have such a small and isolated population. Lack of genetic diversity can lead to reproductive issues and eventually extinction. With the help of the Mongolian government and the Gobi Bear Project, their population has slightly increased over the past decade, but there is still much that needs to be done to ensure the survival of this amazing animal. Number four is the pygmy three-toed sloth. They are the smallest species of sloth and can only be found on Isla Escudo de Vereguas, a small island off the coast of Panama. A small population comes naturally with being endemic to a tiny island, however it has been consistently decreasing for decades. Nine years ago their population was estimated at 79 individuals. Recent surveys suggest the current number is about 48 individuals. None are known to exist in captivity as they are extremely difficult to maintain. Their primary habitat is red mangrove forests. They have a symbiotic relationship with algae that lives in their fur and helps them to camouflage in dense vegetation. The specific species of algae found in their fur is not known to occur anywhere else. There are many threats to the survival of the species, but the greatest is human activity. Over the past couple decades, human activity on and around the island has been steadily increasing. It is believed that the island is uninhabited apart from seasonal visitors such as indigenous fishermen or tourists who live there temporarily. There is a certain amount of protection, but local communities are legally allowed to use the island's natural resources. Because of its distance from the coast, constant patrol is too difficult and expensive, making it easy for illegal activities and unsustainable practices to continue. Researchers have observed small-scale logging for construction of huts and use of firewood, collection and removal of coconuts from the island, significant amounts of litter, unsustainable fishing practices, and even unlicensed researchers or collectors who visit just to take specimens. 
Fortunately, there has been a team working hard to protect the pygmy sloth as well as the island's ecosystem. They usually make two visits a year to conduct surveys. Since observing the illegal activities, a ranger has also been going with them. They've been reaching out to local communities by providing education to children and adults, as well as sustainability workshops that have even been led by local Indigenous women. The response from the local community has been amazing. They want the island to be further protected, but they're also concerned their use of the island may end up being limited. The incredible effort given by researchers, conservationists, and local people gives hope for the survival of the pygmy sloth. But tourists have been a growing threat. Despite these efforts, protection of the island and the pygmy three-toed sloth just isn't strong enough. It is therefore likely that their population will continue to shrink. Number three on our list is the Hainan black-crested gibbon. They are considered the world's rarest primate as they have a population of 35 individuals, with none existing in captivity. Since the 1950s, 95% of their habitat has been destroyed and 99% of their population went with it. Caused by the construction of towns and roads and the development of multiple industries, Due to the generally low income of most local residents, in the past they've had to forage for food in the same forest as gibbons, and have also hunted them to survive. If we go back even further, in the 17th century, they covered half of China. In 2003, with only 13 gibbons left, the Hainan Gibbon Action Plan was launched, and their population has nearly tripled since then. They've been conducting regular surveys, reforestation, reverting plantations back into forests, educating local residents, and better policing illegal loggers. Gibbons experience sexual dichromatism, which means males and females are different colors. Males are black with white or cream cheeks, and females are cream with black patches. Gibbons have a few different calls, although they're best known for extremely loud and elaborate vocalizations. Unlike in other species of gibbons, males take the lead in singing, although they will engage in song duets for the purpose of bonding and mating. Their small population makes their existence vulnerable to disease and natural disasters. The animal that is second most likely to go extinct next is the vaquita. Native to shallow waters in a small portion of the upper gulf of California, their range is smaller than any other marine mammal, and they're considered to be the world's rarest and most endangered mammal. 25 years ago, the first survey of their population was conducted, and was estimated at 567 individuals. Currently, their population is estimated at only 10, and none exist in captivity. This rapid decrease in numbers is primarily the result of overfishing and the use of unsustainable and illegal fishing practices. They are usually the victim of gillnets as they have a high risk of getting tangled, which often leads to death. Limited efforts have been made in attempt to save this species. In 2015, a partial gillnet ban went into effect and two years later a no-tolerance zone was established. Unfortunately, illegal gillnet fishing continued to occur because of the difficulty of patrolling such a large area. In addition, protection measures should have been put into place much earlier for this species to have any chance of surviving. A recent decision by the Mexican government has made things even worse for the vaquita. The no-tolerance fishing zone in the upper gulf of California was eradicated in 2021. The consequences of this decision will be greater boating and fishing pressure in this area and decreased monitoring and enforcement of illegal fishing activities. Sadly, this decrease in protection will likely lead to their extinction within a few decades. The animal that is most likely to go extinct next is the Yangtze giant softshell turtle. They are the biggest freshwater turtle in the world, usually weighing up to 200 pounds, but large specimens can get up to 500 pounds. We only know of two existing turtles, but their population is currently estimated at three, and there could be more out there. They've been known to inhabit lakes, river systems, and wetlands in southern China and northern Vietnam. They've primarily suffered from habitat and nesting area loss, as well as hunting for subsistence and local consumption. The species was legally protected in 2013 when there was less than a handful of turtles that were known to exist. The only confirmed living male lives at a zoo in China and is about 100 years old. In 2020, the only known female was discovered in Dong Mo Lake in Vietnam. 
Prior to this discovery, the last female had passed away in 2019 after years of mating and artificial insemination attempts. Out of hundreds of eggs over the years, none ended up being healthy enough to hatch. Researchers took blood samples and inserted a microchip into the newly found female and released her back into the lake the same day. Throughout weeks of monitoring the lake, they also believed they observed a second turtle that could be a male. These recent discoveries encourage optimism for the future of the species, although reality is the odds are stacked against them, as the Yangtze giant softshell turtle remains on the brink of extinction. Many species like the ones on this list do not get the attention or funds needed to ensure their survival. The purpose of this video is to help raise awareness for some of the most endangered animals on our planet. In the description, I will leave links for further reading and donations for conservation projects that are focused on preserving these animals. Thank you all for watching.